it's Amy K. Sunday Fun Day here for you tonight, back at it for the unveiling of, yes, the classic Manhattan. We're in a New York state of mind this week, folks, so we're going to do the classic Manhattan for you all. The Manhattan is an easy cocktail, four ingredients. We are going to do rye, sweet vermouth. Angostura bitters, and for your garnish, a brandy cherry. Now, I'm going to kick back here with some old overhort, which I love. I used before in uh, one of our drinks a few classes back. The rye is going to give you definitely a little more heat, a little more grip, as bartenders like to say. You can use just straight up bourbon. Bourbon's going to be a little more smoother, but rye, if you like a little extra oomph like I do, go with a rye. And for tools, you're going to need your mixing jar, bar spoon, our trusty jigger, fresh ice, clean hands, clean ice, Melissa downstairs, you know it, that's how we roll, and our julep strainer. And again, folks, if you can't come up with these tools in your home bar, please always DM me. I don't want to waste your time making this an 18-hour video, but we can talk about things at home that you can use, like chopsticks instead of a bar spoon, measuring cup. We got everything in our kitchen, I'm sure. So let me know, let me know. So first things first, folks, you're gonna take your mixing jar. We're gonna start with our sweet vermouth. We are gonna do a very good one ounce. Pam, if you can zoom in just so folks can see. One good hearty ounce of your sweet vermouth. Make sure it's all in there. Then we're gonna do our two ounces of rye. And like I've been saying, folks, we're in COVID-1900 now. We can do a little heavy too. So typically it's gonna be two. But you know, tonight we're gonna do a little more. Boom. Now what you wanna do next the trick with bitters, everyone, we talked about this a few lessons back. Bitters is your friend, but it can also be your worst enemy. Traditionally, you're gonna do three dashes. I myself like to do four, but please don't over bitter because it's really gonna take away from all of the other balance of the drink and you're just gonna be overwhelmed with bitter. So just four is the top to go. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. And don't be afraid if your bitter splatters everywhere. This guy always makes a mess, but it's okay. So that is gonna be that. Then you're gonna build fresh ice. I would do about five to six cubes. And like I said once before, you can always break up your ice a little bit because it's gonna make it really cool the glass a lot faster. All right, with your bar spoon, you're gonna stir this for about 30 seconds. Pam, if you can zoom in again. I always sing a song or just actually even count. Don't be shy. Tricks when you're stirring, everyone, if you can get a glimpse of my fingers, you wanna keep the bar spoon right in between, kind of like a drummer if you're a percussionist. I'm sure there's some of you out there to play the drum. It's all in the wrist. This is what you don't want to do. Don't be stiff. Be fluid with it. All in the wrist. In between, you can taste it. Make sure it's not over diluting. because You don't want to get too much water to over stir it. Give it a little tap. Make sure that jar is really cold to the touch. Gonna step back at your favorite, favorite cocktail glass. I myself like this classic martini glass. Thank you, Philip Thornblade, for this lovely coaster he got me from Spain just for this class. Thanks, Phil. And then you're gonna take your julep strainer. And Pam, this is the winner. We are gonna pour that Manhattan up and ready to go. Oh, look at that, look at that. Last but not least, we're gonna give it that final touch. And if you're like me, I go for two, it's okay. 
And that, friends, is the classic Manhattan. Please follow me on Amy K. Sunday Fun Day for all the tips. I'm now putting these up on the good old uh, Instagram TV channel. I'm getting shout outs to do a live video. If you think I should, please let me know. I'm a little shy still. And then also follow YouTube. Thank you so much. Stay safe. Woo!